warm welcome to all of you. Nature's Observer CD is trying to give the best of its by arranging some tutorials for polytechnic admission test students and during this lockdown period we are offering some of the tutorials discussing very basic and important topics to be covered during their test. So to start with, we have HCF and LCF. So first let us see what exactly is HCF and uh, what is LCF. HCF, the full form is highest common factor. And LCM is lowest common multiple. At the beginning, just I'll go for a quick explanation of this particular two terms and then we'll take problems. Let me discuss first about HCF. What exactly is HCF? As we mentioned, it is the highest common factor. What does it mean? So I'll take uh, very small questions that it will be easy for us to identify. Say, uh, let us consider a number 24. What will be the factors of this? Factors means those numbers which will divide this. 1, 2, then 3, 4, 5 will not divide, 6 will divide. Okay. 7, 8, 8 will divide, 8 raised to 24, 9 will not divide, 10 will not divide, then which will divide, uh, 11 will not divide, 12, and once we arrive 12, please try to remember, if you get a number which is close to the half of this number as its factor, then you can directly jump to the last number itself as a factor. That means there will be no other factor after 12 of 24. Okay. Then let me try to take 36. Try identifying its factors. 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5 will not be there. Then uh, 6 will be there. 7, 8, then 9 will be there. 10 will not be a factor. 11 will not be a factor. 12 will be there, right? 12 is 36. Then after 12, we'll be getting 18. 18 to 0, 36. And then directly you'll be getting 36. Now look at the common factors. Look at the common factors. 1 and 1, let us list them. 2 and 2, 3, 3, okay, 4, 4, 6. Then after that the common is 12. Now out of all these common factors, which one will be the highest? 12. So HCF of 24 and 36 is 12. Now no need to worry. This is just the explanation. We have process for finding its HCF. And in the similar way, if we think about the multiple, then the lowest of the multiple is the LCM. So I'll take a quick example with the help of these numbers only. Okay, so let's have a look at this and then we'll proceed forward with problems. Multiple of 24, the first one is 24 into 1, 24, then is 48, 72, then 24 into 4, will be 96 and so on and then I took 36 the first will be 36 into 1 36 36 into 2 72 then 36 into 3 108 and so on now anyway I could proceed further but from here you just see what is a common factor common multiple this is 72 and indeed, this is the lowest, right? So LCM will be 70. 
So as I told you earlier, process is not this. We'll have a process. I'm just giving you the definition of these two with the help of these two examples. So without much delay, let us try to explain the process and then we'll take problems. Anyway, I'll start with the problem only so that we can save time. Okay. So we are going to find the HCF of these numbers. Number A, 24 and 36. This is question number 1A. So we will be doing the or uh, finding the HCF and LCM with the help of prime factorization. Prime factorization means we will break this in terms of the product of the prime factors. So we all know how to start division. So let us start with 2. 2 will divide it by 12. Then again further we can divide it. Then this. So what I can find 24 as 2 cube into 3. 2 cube into 3. Then take 36 and do the same thing. This is 18. Three, uh, 2 will divide it by 9. Then 3 will divide by 3. So 36 will be equal to 2 square into 3 square. Okay. Now, see, I am going to tell you the definition here. Please be attentive. HCF. When you write the HCF, first you identify what is the common factor of these two numbers. Prime factors. 2 is a factor of this. 2 is a factor of this. So 2 is a common factor. Out of these two, to find the HCF, you have to choose the lower one. So 3 here and 2 here. What is the lower? 2. Fine. Then other common factor is 3. It is 1 here. It is 2 here. The lower one is 1. So what you will find? 2 square is 4 into 3. That is 12. So HCF is 12. And if you talk about LCM, simply the opposite of that you have to consider. Find the factors. Remember, for HCF, you look for the common factors only. And for LCM, you take all the possible factors. Prime factors, right? And put the highest powers. 2, 3. Highest is 3. 2 is the highest. So this is 8 into 9, that is 72. So you can easily see when I explain the definition, I have taken these two numbers only and we verified that we had HCF 12 and LCM 72. Hope it is clear to you. And if not, again review the video and just check whether it is clear or not. Let's move on to another problem with the same concept. Then we will proceed for uh, some complicated problems. Number B. 48 and 52. Okay. So let's have a break of this into prime factors. 2 and 24. I think I need not explain you more about this because all of you are very clear about this. So 48 is how many 2's? The, there are 4. So this is 2 to the power 4 into 3. Then 52. If I divide this, then this is 26. 13. So what 52 is going to give me? 2 square into 13. Okay, this is a different problem. So that's good for us. Otherwise, uh, we might think that we have to take all the factors for HCF as well. Now you see uh, how we will work on HCF. Okay. So, for finding HCF, you have to look for the common factors, only the common factors. So, what is the common factor? 2 is the only common factor because 13 is not here, 3 is not here. Then look at the lowest power. This is 4, this is 2. So lowest power is 2. HCF is 4. Then suppose that you need LCM. 
you look for all the factors to yeah once you have written you need not write it again for the other number then 3 and then 13 now just see 2 here 4 times 2 times which is the bigger 4 so you will assign power 4 to this okay. 3 is having power 1 and 3 is not present means power is 0 so what is the highest 1 similarly and now, okay, I leave the multiplication for you. This is a bigger one, so I'll not come up to the end. So now you can find what is the required HCF. Okay, so please review before you proceed further with other problems. I hope this is clear. I'll take some bigger problems. Bigger problems in the same uh, sense that I'll take some bigger numbers. Uh, let us start with 240 and 306. This C, 240 and 306. Okay, 240. Do factorization. 120. This is 60. This is 30. 15. 3 and 5. Okay, I'll write the factors here. Then 306 by 2 I divide it is 153. 153. This is divisible by 3. It is 5 and then 1. It is again divisible by 3. That is 17. Okay. Yeah, uh, let me try to tell you to do all these, you must be very clear about. The basic multiplication tables. So what you will find here is 240 equals 2 times how many 2's? 4 2's. Then 1 3 and 1 5. Then 306 will be equal to 2 into 3 square into 17. I raised power 1 because only 117 is there. Okay. Now what will be HCF? Look at the common factors. 2 is common, 3 is common. So out of that, you have to put the lowest of the powers. Here it is 4, here it is 1. Lowest is 1. And then here it is 1, here it is 2, lowest is 1. So HCF is 6. LCM is, you take all the factors. That's what is very important. 2 into 3. You need not repeat because there are two twos, two threes. You should write only 1, then 5 and 17. Out of 4 and 1, power I am talking about, highest is 4. So for LCM, the highest power. Please do not make a mistake. When we explain it is highest common factor. But for power, we have to take the lowest. It is the lowest common multiple. For power, you have to take the highest power. For 3, highest is 2. 5, it is 1 only. 17, 1. Multiplication, I leave for 2. two. Please do that. So, hope it is very clear to you. And I think now you will be able to do the problems related to HCF and LCM with the help of this factorization method. Okay. And then, uh, very important to know this. So, once you review, right, before you proceed further. Now, I'll be uh, discussing a very important property of HCF and LCM for two numbers, right. This property is going to be valid only for two numbers, okay. For two positive integers a and b if you multiply their hcf with their lcm always that is equal to product of the numbers any two numbers you take their lcm you find hcf you find 
then HCF into LCM will be equal to product of the numbers. So I want to go back to the very first problem. Can you remember what are the two numbers we have taken? One is 24, another was 36. Their HCF it was 12, LCM it was 72. Verification I am leaving for you. Just check whether 24 into 36, whatever is the number obtained, is it same as 12 into 72? It should be because of this property. And then again very important notification. This property is valid only for two numbers. If you do the property or apply the property for more than two numbers, it will be wrong. So make sure that you understand very clearly the things. Okay? So I'm going to take the second question uh, with the help of this particular note, right? Yes. If HCF and LCM of two positive numbers are respectively respectively twenty four and two hundred and sixteen, find the other number other number if one is if one is 48 so here you see I do not want to write the statement because for polytechnic admission test you need to only identify the multiple option so you need to only do the rough work so I'm not going I'm not going to write the statements one number is 48 I consider this B, you have to find what is HCF given to be 24, what is LCF given to be 216. Apply the property. What property says product of these two must be equal to product of these numbers 48 into B. Now, please uh, do not make a foolishness of multiplying this, otherwise, your calculation will be bigger. So to get rid of that, you do not have to multiply this. What you have to do for finding B, bring this down. See, I am not showing you the exact steps because this is not a formal uh, problems to be solved. You need only to get the answers. So 48 will come down. Actually, why I am saying like this? Formally, I should write B in the left side. But here I am not writing because I need not bother about that. 24 will cut it by 2 and 2 will cut it by how much? 108. So you got B equal to 108 and that's the answer. So 108 is the other number. So if you have 4 options out of that loop, whether 108 is present or not, if not, then none of these will be the answer. Okay. So before we proceed forward, Take a pause of the video and check whether you have understood or not. Okay, my numbers I will be giving at the last. So if you will be having any problem, you can WhatsApp any problem related to this topic in order to clarify this further. Okay, okay uh, there is a very important explanation to be made. Just note it, check it. Note, I'll write a note. HCF, or I'll write in sort, okay? always divides LCM. Meaning, if you have a given set of numbers, maybe 2, maybe 3, maybe 4, this is valid for all numbers, all number of numbers. Okay? Suppose you have 3 numbers, you have found the HCF, you have found the LCM then you will notice that LCM is always divisible by each other. If 
Sorry for the distance. HCF will have only the common factors of the given numbers, common prime factors. And LCM has all the factors. Moreover, HCF has the lowest power of the common factors. This has the highest power of all the factors. So what you can observe? All factors which are constituting HCF are obviously present in LCM. Therefore, this will be a divisor of that. So this is the logic I have told you. Think over it. Now let us pick a problem on this. A very uh, important problem. Right? I give, suppose, two numbers are there. Right? And I am giving you a statement okay, for both these numbers, HCF is 32 and LCM is 60. Now you have to tell whether this is possible or not. Is this possible? Use the fact what I explained. Not at all. Because you can see 32 will not divide 60. So we contradicted the fact that HCF is always a factor of LCM. So for this case, you cannot get any two numbers or two numbers whose HCF is 32 and at the same time LCM is 60. This is not possible. Yeah. But if somebody says that there are numbers whose HCF is 32 and LCM is 64, possible. Because 32 is dividing 64. Hope it is clear. Okay. You have to pause the video if I am uh, moving faster with my explanations. Time is short, so sorry for making this hue and cry in my speed. Now you see, uh, this can be a good problem for you in multiple options, right? I give you, this is question number three, two numbers. I'll tell you what exactly I am doing. First, let me write this, copy this down. Okay. Now you have to find the HCF and LCM. P1, P2, P3 are primes. These are exponents already told. For HCF, what we do? We take the common factors, common prime factors. Yeah. We are lucky here that all the three factors are common. For HCF, we have to take the lowest. P1 power is 1 here. P1 power is 2 here. What is the lowest? 1. Good. For these two lowest is this 2. For these two lowest is 1. So HCF is this. Okay. You will not get any numerical value because they need not talk about what is P1, P2, P3. Now LCM, yeah, all the factors you have to take. But this time you have to choose the highest factors, highest power. Out of the highest is 2, P2 and P3. Sorry, P2, it is 3, here it is 2, highest is 3, P3, what is the highest? 3. So this is the LCM and this is the HCF. So you will be getting this option. This is very important. Okay, please review this. Please review this. Now anyway, I will not go for more number of problems today. Before I end up, a very important problems I would like to give it to you I'll write down this because you can note it down afterwards it is question number four if three clocks are such that 
the first tolls tolls means rings mathematically we are telling tolls after every 20 minutes second tolls after every 30 minutes and third tolls after every 50 minutes right if all the three clocks toll together at 9 am when next will all the toll together Hope question is clear. If at 9 o'clock all these three clocks ring together, give alarm together, and then we wait after 9, when exactly all these three will again ring together. In between, after every 20 minutes, the first will be giving you alarm. Say 9, then 9.20, 9.40, and then 10, etc. This is going to ring after 30 minutes, that is 9, then 9.30, then 10, third, 9, then 9.50, and then after 50 minutes, it is 10.40, then after 50 minutes, 11.30. So now we have to find after what time again they will ring together, and what's that time? Yeah, they may ask you both these questions. So now just you see. What do you think? It will be LCM or HCM? You should guess that this is a problem of LCM. Why? Because the time span should be such that it is divisible by all these three numbers. The time span, matlab, 9 after that when you will get all the three clocks ringing together, that gap should be a common multiple of this. And if you are finding it for the first time after 9, it should be the lowest common multiple. Meaning, indirectly they are asking you to find the LCM of all this. I should not find the LCM because you know now. But anyway, uh, because there are three numbers, I will show you. Actually, same rule prevails for three numbers also. 20 can be broken as 2 square into 5, prime factorization. 30 can be broken as uh, 2 into 3 into 5 all power 1 and 50 can be broken as 2 into 5 square so what will be the LCM can you identify what will be the LCM LCM is all the factors you have to take 2 is there 3 is there 5 is there highest you have to take 2 ka highest, what is this? 2, 3 highest is what? Only 1 is there. 5 highest is 2. So this is 4 into 3 into 25. So this is 300, right? It is 12 into 4, 35 into 4, 100 and 3, 300 minutes. Meaning, after 9 a.m., if you wait for 300 minutes, then all the clocks will again ring together. So 300 minutes means how much time? You convert this into hours. For converting this into hour, you have to divide it by 60. If you divide it by 60, it is 5 hours. So after 9, 5 hours, 9 a.m. Right? 9 a.m. I have told. After 5 hours means it is 2 p.m. Okay. So after 300 minutes, they will again ring together. That means after 5 hours, they will ring together. Or else they will ask you over the time. That is 2 p.m. Okay. So 
supposing that let us make it even more complicated they will not ask you when next they will ring together before 9 when they were ringing together same idea after a gap of 5 hours they will ring together so if it is 9 am now before 5 hours what was the time 4 am so at 4 am all they ring together that way also question may be more important anyway i will not take much time so we will get into the next video very shortly you just see my uh, number 94350-20912 this is the whatsapp number you can uh, send me problems on this but please do not call me i may not be able to attend it so you please do whatsapp if you have any problem thank you so much